Welcome to Wiki Roulette, where we draw a lot and learn nothing. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Jake. And look at what we have here. Oh, it's Wikipedia. And what's this? Ma- Ma- Matias de Gregorio. <laughs> oh. He's... I love the pause. We get so excited. There's always a pause as we try to parse what we're reading. <laughs> Defender and midfielder of, oh, of the world. Argentine football, mm-hmm. a.k.a. soccer in in America. All right, let's go around the table. We already know a lot about Europe and Asia, <laughs> but uh, what do we know about South America? Uh, it is to the south of us. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yes. Um, <laughs> and it, it is like a mirror version of <laughs> North America. Uh, they wear they wear gloves on their feet there. Yeah, everything is backwards. <laughs> Uh, instead of hamburgers, they eat empanadas. <laughs> yeah, and they're much more attractive than us in general, as oh, a general rule. As a general rule. It's the higher elevation. Yeah. We're just, like, lazy with our use of oxygen here. Right. We, we have so much. <laughs> <laughs> we have an abundance of oxygen. We squander it every day. It makes us weak. Uh, wait, were any, were any of you guys soccer boys? I mean, I played the, the littlest league. <laughs> The littlest possible the league. The most adorable league. Yeah. <laughs> were you, uh, d- I'm going to guess you were like me and a defender because every time you ran it made all the other parents laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, you stay back No, and I be ineffective. No, I like the running part because like if I, if I, run, if I ran around a bunch, it looked like I was doing stuff, mm-hmm. uh, which meant I never actually had to develop like skills. Mm. So I would just, uh, I would just run around a bunch. Uh, and then eventually, like I like midfield because you you could just run, you could just run a bunch. What's interesting is that's still Nathan's tactic to this day. Yeah, like, yeah at when at work I, when he's like I, he wants us to think he's illustrating a lot, he just starts running around. He just around start running office. around, and he looks really busy. Yeah, it's uh, soccer. I believe it's an offshoot of Rocket League. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think invented. Yeah, Rocket League came first. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and the popular video game version came shortly afterwards. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. The, uh, Real life Rocket League. <laughs> was, was the, first. The actual Rocket League. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, like, kids wanted to play their own version but couldn't afford their sweet rocket cars. So they kind of just improvised. Kind of, you know, like stickball on the stoop. Yeah. Like, you couldn't play full space. Stickball. Stick. Listen, mm-hmm. just 23 years skidoo and get some phosphates and play some stickball with me. It'll be great. Do you, uh, do you mean that? Do you want to? We're, we're going to start the YouTube uh, Stickball League. The YouTube Stickball League. Yeah, any other YouTubers out there want to want to start our Stickball League, I call dibs on midfield. <laughs> <laughs> because, again... Uh, I'd, li- I'd like to be Stickman. Okay. If I could. Uh, prime Stickman. I don't know if you have to try out for that position. And uh, I, want, I want to be the score minder. The score minder. The score minder. <laughs> <laughs> The scoreman. Yeah. Minder, keeper of scores. Only if you keep scores on a scroll (laughs) will I allow you to do that. Verily, I have updated the scroll. (laughs) We get it. (laughs) So is he defending? Oh, he's defending all right. And that's that's why he's got... uh, He has, like, knee armor, leg armor, and a a big shield. A big old shield. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm ignoring the midfielder part. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, we're just going with a so- he's a soccer defender. Well, I feel like uh, he's a midfielder in the sense that, like midfield is like a fantasy kingdom. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's he's the defender, the defender of, midfield. of midfield. Yes, <laughs> defender of midfield. <laughs> Sir, it's the Paraguayans. <laughs> they are at the gates. <laughs> so, Worry not. <laughs> I've defended midfield from Paraguayans, <laughs> Uruguayans, <laughs> Bolivians. <laughs> Every Guayan you can imagine. <laughs> oh, man. I like that shield. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. He, it, he, it bears the, the crest the crest of midfield, of course, which is a flaming soccer ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A flaming um, football. A flame. <laughs> I refuse. Are you ready for re- some football? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for some football? <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, he should have some, like, armor, mm-hmm. I guess. I just I just drew him like regular, so yeah, he's got. Uh, well, you wanted to draw him in the buff. I wanted to just get the the body right. How else are you gonna see them abs? How else, <laughs> indeed? Mmm. 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 You know he's got some. Yeah. At least a few. So he's got his like armor, but then he's also still wearing the shorts. Yeah. 
Uh, chainmail shorts. Ch- chainmail shorts, right? Let's add some chains. By the bends of Beckham, we have won this day! <laughs> <laughs> the bends of Beckham. Yeah, everyone in, uh, in Mid- Argentina. Oh, yeah. That's how they speak, like old English <laughs> style. And uh, shiny, he's got some pauldrons. Mm-hmm. He's got some, got some gauntlets. Got, got some pauldrons, got some gauntlets. Uh, I still haven't given him a mouth. I'm going to... Yeah, you got to fix like, that hair so it doesn't like a treasure troll. Well, he's got, like... What is his hair like? It's like... He's got that, it's, but he has... It's very similar to that. It kind of is treasure troll It's <laughs> like... <laughs> Are you just a treasure troll? <laughs> Matias? <laughs> Matias, legendary defender of midfield? He can't let people know that he has just a cheap plastic gem on yeah. his belly button. <laughs> on his belly button. His greatest fear is that people will discover his weakness, <laughs> which is tickling that gem. <laughs> <laughs> and making a, a terrible child just, wish. Yeah. Just tickling that gem. <laughs> That's uh, a real good drawing. Thanks, man. That is good. I like that. Uh, all right. So he's defending midfield, but from what? Uh, uh, a foe. Or whom? I hope, I hope this next thing is good for that. We're going to make it good for that yeah. no matter what. Oh, uh, here we go. Random article. Show us your wisdom, power, infinite knowledge. Kimmer. Kimmer. Oh, of course. Oh, guys, we all know the community in the Upper Franconian district of Bamberg. <laughs> <laughs> the Bambergs have come again. <laughs> Where is Bamberg? Uh, Germany. It's, yeah, it's in the Bavarian states. Wow, you're a long way from home, Kimmer. <laughs> <laughs> You've overreached this time. <laughs> Kimmer thought it could take it could take the kingdom of midfield. Yeah, let's, see. let's uh, read a little bit. Tell me about Kemmer and Jake, so maybe I can get some inspiration here. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you're going to be just hanging out in the upper Franconia west region of the main valley, I will. Kemmer is nestled in a historic cultural landscape uh, with a path system from the high Middle Ages. Oh, boy. A lot of hiking and cycling. And uh, does anyone live here? <laughs> does anyone live I here? I guess the, the hikers and cyclists. It's not beset with heavy traffic. It's rural. Uh, does Franconian that refers to like like James Franco's line? Yeah, <laughs> right? the, James, the James Franconian line. The Franconian line, which which dates back to the High Middle Ages. Yo, we're smoking some sweet Bambergs over here. Get over, bro. So uh, we're gonna draw we're gonna draw Cameron Franco. <laughs> Cameron, Fra- Cameron Franco, who is of course a uh, a powerful uh, a, mage. A powerful Franco. A powerful Franco. The Francos were. Primarily a mage culture. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got like a warrior, a, a fight, warrior mage, a fighter going on. versus yeah. a, a mage. Yeah, that's exactly your, it. Your go-to, is, if like it's not in the the description, is just to draw whatever it is as a wizard. Yeah, it's, which it's really fun. Which I like. It's really fun to I do. I like that a lot. Wizards are real fun. Wizards are real fun, guys. If if like real talk, I know we we say we're learning nothing, but like learn this. Wizards are fun. Wizards are fun. <laughs> Shut up. Wizards yeah. are fun. Prove me wrong. Yeah. It's like, it's it's the power fantasy that, like, nerds can, like, kind of associate with because they're like, oh, yeah, 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 I have, like, power, but I'm still, like, a goofy, ugly bastard. <laughs> yeah. I'm goofy. I'm ugly. I have to read a lot of books. <laughs> we're not talking sorcerers here. Yeah. We're talking, we're talking like, a regular tome-wielding scholarly zard. Yeah, well, I like to think that the uh, that Cameron is more of like a necromancer. Oh, type sure. Type of deal. All of um, the all of the fallen hikers and bikers of the region. Yeah, he he, he revitalizes. He revitalizes. He holds uh, oh, their yeah. skull. That he holds a, a skull. Mm-hmm. Whose skull? It, it's a skull. A skull. Oh, a skull. It's a skull. It's a skull. It's not specific. By the power of a skull. <laughs> oh, according to this, Cameron is the sister city of Clep. Is it really? No. Oh, <laughs> I thought oh, for a second. Y'all just got clapped. Uh, <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> 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 hey guys, uh, you just got clapped. How's it feel? Oh, I can't. oh my gosh. It feels <laughs> like shit, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel really I, bad, actually. No, I mean, I I should have seen it coming. They got me fair and square. <laughs> oh man, I got super clapped. Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, will you say I got clapped? Yeah, I got clapped. <laughs> yeah, I got clapped. <laughs> oh, did you listen to the, uh, the This American Life where they talked about juiced? No. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> hey, if you don't uh, listen to This American Life but want to hear about it, oh no, let's here get, it comes. I'll, I'll try and be as like brief as possible. No, man, I want I want to know. So, like a few years back, there was a direct to video uh, project that you could order like on. They had like uh, infomercial ads, you know, like remember those girl gone wa- girls gone wild ads? Oh, dang. How, or like, how can I forget? <laughs> or like the forbidden comedy movie, or like there was there was an entire genre where it was like it's two a.m. You're watching cable TV. Order a DVD of something vaguely pornographic, but not really, but not Man, super. Pornographic. I remember looking forward to those girl gone wild ads. Oh I no, like, <laughs> I was like a like an eleven year old. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Didn't, didn't know about internet porn yet. I was yeah, like, and you're like, there's, oh, there's kind of a boob there. There's kind of a boob. <laughs> That's more of a boob than anything else I saw today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just have like the big stars over them, and just like. The sleaziest guy voice. Yeah. These girls just can't wait to take their tops off. <laughs> Whoa. So, yeah, so ju- Juiced. Yeah. Juiced is one of those. So, uh, Juiced was a, a, for a prank compilation involving uh, OJ Simpson, <laughs> famed pretty much murder. Right. <laughs> famed, uh, famed uh, murder who got away with it. Yeah. Is, the, is his whole thing so like he would so the idea was is that like these comedians and actors would do a reality kind of punk style show where you'd be like at an open house and then all of a sudden oj simpson's, simpson's in there, there. <laughs> oh no and then all of a sudden oj simpson's there that's and like the, that's the break every yeah. time it's just <laughs> and like, so that's it. Like, like they had no writers and right. like, no, and so like they had one of the actors who did it just kind of explain like if you watch it there's no jokes <laughs> it's just kind of like people going hey isn't that oj simpson <laughs> And then some stuff happens, <laughs> and then O.J. Simpson goes up and says, "You got juiced." <laughs> wow. Uh, and there's like a comedic rap video that he does with like strippers, and it's all like just apparently just this surreal lost piece of culture. Wow. And uh, that's <laughs> that's great. Oh shit! L- meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> Jacob just drew a cool ass wizard. Yeah, look, we, we've got a, cool this we've got ourselves a battle scene going on. This is a on. cool whiz. I'm erasing part of your shield. I'm sure you'll understand. Oh wow, cool man. Because <laughs> the the flames have to be, you know, right? They're mm. they're licking it. They're licking it. They're like coming around it a little they're bit. Coming too. around it a little bit. But you know our what? our boy Matthias is uh, Matthias. M- Mat- Matthias. Matthias. Whatever Matthias his name. He the, is. The, uh, the accent was over the eye, so I'm saying it. I'm guessing it's Matthias. Mm-hmm. But also. I'm bad and don't know how to pronounce things, so my guess is as good as anyone's. So anything mm. could be true. What What would you say is uh, a helpful tip for people trying to draw wizards? Um, robes. Mm-hmm. Got put, some. Put them. Put them on. Got some belts. Belts. Got some belts going. You got. That's more like the Final Fantasy you, school of wizardry. Real, real talk though. Why do you need a belt if you're wearing a robe? To hang your skulls from. Hang your skulls from. <laughs> okay. Where else is he? Doesn't have hang to be skulls, skulls from? for this. This guy, it's skulls. <laughs> But, yeah. like, it could be, you know, totems. He, he uh, picks one of the skulls relics. to hold, depending on which spell he wants to cast. Ooh. So he has to kind of trade them out here and there. W- wards. Um, uh, onks. He's you know, probably got some other shaman. stuff hidden hidden in these in his wizard pockets. Mm-hmm. Some, <laughs> some dirty tricks. He's got some, he's got some dirty tricks up his wizard yeah, this sleeves. Is, this is Cameron, he's wearing cargo uh, shorts underneath. Cameron Franco, a descendant of James. Oh yeah, you did. You did give him that Franco, that uh, classic Franco smirk. Yeah, ancestor to James and Dave Franco. (laughs) Uh, Cameron Franco. James and Dave Franco. Yeah, everyone leaves out Dave Franco. You know what? I'm not going to do it. (laughs) No, I won't be a party to that. He's been left out for too long. All right. Well, this Van Lick. Of course. A Lutheran schoolmaster in the <laughs> Prekmerge region of the Kingdom of Hungary today in Slovenia. Uh, he worked with Pukonici near Murska Subuda. Pukonici, the evil clown. <laughs> <laughs> Pukonici, <laughs> the evil clown. Wait, wait what, what did he do, though? He translated a textbook from German into Hungarian. I just have to draw an evil clown now, don't I? No, that's <coughs> Istvan Lulik. What a weird... You could you could skip East von Lulik and just draw Pukunichi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is not even the name, by the way. What is it? It's like Pukansi. Pukansi. 
Pukanchi. Pukanchi, yeah, that's his like familiar. Of course, because he is a necromancer. Yeah. So he has raised this, yeah, he's this g- dark clown. <laughs> <laughs> All clowns are dark clowns. Yeah. But this one's even a little darker than most. Oh, I'd I say. hate clowns so much. I just true on like a profound First of all, I had like a weird clown doll hanging in my room ever since I was like, uh, when I was like a little kid. Not ever since. It's not still there. <laughs> it's still there, hanging in your room. <laughs> but it was like on a little swing, and like, it just had murderous intent in its eyes. Was and it I like, remember the day I was finally like tall enough to like get it off, to my get it down. Head. <laughs> I think you grew more yeah. because you had that motivation. <laughs> just fear, just just went right into my pituitary gland. This will be one of those things where later you find out that like. That clown was a ward that was like keeping you safe from clown attacks. Uh, whatever, creepy pasta. I don't. <laughs> no, it was just a bet. Ba- your parents had protected you with that clown, and and now you've gotten rid of it. We don't have a clown statue. Get out of the house. <laughs> we, all, we all know that one. No, because here, here's here's oh, I here's, like this little guy. Here's why clowns are bullshit. Is every other kind of entertainer has like an actual name, yeah. and is like I am a talented person that does this. It's me, Jeff the Juggler, or like I'm I'm. Bethany, the balloon animal artist, or like, yeah. I, yeah. but their, like clowns are like are always I'm, squ- I'm Squibbles, <laughs> the joy creature that exists solely in this state. <laughs> Do I eat? Do I sleep? I'm I don't clear. know. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> but I am a supernatural mirth being sent from beyond reality. Clowns do say that a lot, which does... It they say it with their presence. Yeah, when they keep telling me that they're a supernatural mirth <laughs> being from beyond reality. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Like, I would rather... Like, I understand that, like, you couldn't outwardly make fun of hobos after a certain point, and yeah. so they had to be like, no, that's a clown. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, they were just making fun of, like, tramps. Hobos. Yeah. Well, they're tramps, like a, scamps, a holdover from, vagabonds. Like, from, like, jester tradition. Like a like a court fool yeah. who was there to like make a fool of themselves for other people's enjoyment, but we don't need him anymore. We don't. We don't want him anymore. Just be like a, a just be good at tumbling and pantomime. Yeah, and use your real goddamn name and take off that stupid nose. Please, <laughs> I'm begging you, Jeffrey. Please, <laughs> please take off the nose. <laughs> I feel like that would be like how. Like you had a child, and the child came out to you as a clown. Yeah. They would they would come and approach you wearing the nose. No, it was be like mother, father. <laughs> I have something to tell you. Honk honk. <laughs> you know how you're doing this just to just to annoy. Is he slapping a pie against the shield? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I guess this is this is all just happening out out in front of a school because uh, of course is is, is von Lulik Lulik is the schoolmaster of this school. A magic school. It's a magic school, of course, where they teach uh, soccer mancy. <laughs> yeah. uh, and necromancy. Not soccer and necromancy. And the dark clown arts. And the dark clown arts. The the clown's a transfer student. <laughs> <laughs> they found me in a box. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to, it's going to have like the crest up there. What's the crest? The, the soccer ball again. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Or no, it should be like a it should be like a soccer a soccer mm-hmm. skull. Oh, well done, soccer skull. I like it. I like where your mind's at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, how is this going to look? It's going to look like a gosh dang soccer skull. Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> With horns. Soccer skull with horns, and then what, you got the little bell in there, right? Because yeah. it's a school. Gotta have the bell. Gotta have the bell. How else do you know when to get to class? Yeah. This is yeah. actually a young adult novel. Like, yeah, you we, don't realize we just, it? We just made a young adult novel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then... Uh, I'm just a different kind. I don't fit in. <laughs> <laughs> they found me in a box. <laughs> That's like the... After the, the main series is done, they do a side novel about Pukunichi, the, the undead clown, and it's like an all-time worst seller. <laughs> all-time... Yeah, New York Times all-time worst sellers list. I think Gavin likes me. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> the audiobook was an even worse seller. Yeah. 
Yeah, the guy, the author insisted on doing the voiceover himself, and he's just he's just a real weirdo. Yeah, and he has not spoken since then. <laughs> yeah, uh, a vow of silence was all that could rectify what he had done. Don't you understand, Pukanucci? The power is inside you," said the headmaster. Really? <laughs> really? No, not inside really. me? <laughs> not really, Pukanucci. Go back to your room. Go back to your box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just feel so safe there. Ha, ka, 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 ka. How are there 17 more chapters? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, st- stay tuned for uh, book book eight of uh, soccer soccer magic necromancy school <laughs> coming coming out. You can't call it that. You have to call it like the spheres of time. <laughs> All right, but, spheres of time, and these towers just have like stuff going on around them. Magic stuff. Magic stuff. Oh, that—that's the magic stuff. That's the magic stuff. That's like you know, just like regular magic stuff. Task of the goalkeeper. There we go. Task of the goalkeeper, <laughs> book one. Guys, I want to see your fanfics in the comments. This has been Wiki Roulette, uh, where we create a alternate universe. Uh, we are sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs>